A massive fire broke out at about 9.15 this morning here on Queen Street East at Sumac. It started in these row houses behind this streetcar here. <laughs> right here behind me um, in the easternmost unit and spread to the two adjoining units. It was an intense blaze and quickly escalated to a four alarm fire. The smoke and flames could be seen for blocks, and at one point, a hundred firefighters had been dispatched to battle the blaze. The fire in this uh, five unit row housing building started in the uh, far east unit um, and spread to the adjacent unit. Uh, the crews arrived, they uh, went into operation quickly and aggressively, and they were able to contain the fire to the first two units. A team from the Office of the Fire Marshal has been called in to investigate. They attend when there is extensive damage, someone is injured or killed, or there's any suspicion of arson. At this point, everything is under consideration. All our determinations are based on evidence, not on, you know, circumstances or inferences or anything like that. So um, everything is a possibility at this point uh, until you can go in there and actually, uh, you know, sift through the stuff and uh, investigate the fire. So you haven't been able to do that yet? No, not yet. Investigators say the second floor and roof collapsed during the fire and the structure has to be stabilized before they'll be able to get inside. The building has sold signs on the three units that went up this morning. We have been told that it is now owned by a developer. It's not the first fire at this location. In April of 2018, the adjoining building to the east at 477 Queen East went up and damaged two other buildings. The lot at 477 remains empty two years later. The fire marshal was brought into that fire as well, but did not complete their investigation. The structure was unsafe to proceed with our full investigation. However, at that point in time, there were some uh, factors that were suspicious. Now, of course, we weren't able to complete it. We were through our services. It was unsafe to do so. So uh, we really can't speak to whether or not it was arson or an accidental fire. The building that went up this morning is thought to be vacant, but at this point, the possibility that someone was inside cannot be ruled out, the fire marshal tells me. Manny Garcia says all three units will have to be demolished. Heavy equipment is going to be brought in. This section of Queen Street East eastbound remains closed, and there will likely be traffic congestion in this area for the next few days.